We still need to find a Trader Hugh, too. He's most likely... Ooh! <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. That was awesome. Seven Days to Nine, Alpha 21. This is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and I'm an old guy gaming. And in this episode, we are going to fix up a bunch of stuff, and we're going to go out and do the Trader Runs again today and uh, see if we can either spend a bunch of money or make a bunch of money or hopefully both uh okay so before we get started with that we have a point i did a mine overnight and i mined a little bit of all four of the ores because i needed all four of them and we have another point and we're going to put that point right on into intellect so now we have um an actual four now i know i have the nerdies but i wanted to get to four because i'll be taking those nerdies off at, at various different times um so, um, the one thing about intellect that's kind of cool, though, is it, it, unless you're doing robotics or um, stun batons, you don't ever need to invest in tin directly. You can just use the glasses to get the tin for, you know, if you, if you want Grease Monkey maxed out for the best vehicles or bartering and that sort of thing. Uh, we are going to put some points into this bartering stuff, too, because Alpha 21, if there's one thing I'll say about it... Um, I have a lot of good things to say about it, but one thing I'll say about it is that it there's more reliance now on the trader than ever to to get the really good loot. Um, okay, so anyway, we got that done. I made uh, the Cripplem mod to put on our wonderful purple uh, crossbow, so that is now fully modded. Just out of curiosity, this weapon does... Um, wait, no, this weapon. Uh, this weapon does 123.4 damage normal. And if we put all the mods on it, it bumps it up to 158.6. Um, and it looks like it increases the velocity too, which is really nice. Um, okay, so this bow is about as good as it gets. Uh, four bows. And um, does this have a green paint? Let's uh, take this off and we will... Paint up our crossbow. There we go. That's actually got the green wires. I love it. Um, when the Fun Pimps came out with Seven Days to Die Alpha 17, that's when they first introduced the dyes. But at that point, if you died a weapon, the whole thing turned green or red. And I never, never really liked that. So I love it that now that when we die stuff, it, you know, it highlights certain things, but it doesn't change the whole entire weapon. It's good stuff. Okay, so, um, let's see. I have made uh, three pumpkin cheesecakes. We got four sugar butts, and we have one uh, grandpa's awesome sauce. So, obviously, obviously, that has to come with us. And I got just so much stuff to sell, it's ridiculous. So, let's, um, let's pull uh, stuff out of here first. And I'm going to... Let's see. We've got all this duct tape. We're going to probably have to pretty much turn all of this duct tape. Well, let's not do all of it. Let's turn half of this duct tape into repair kits because I think we're going to need them. Um, I got a whole mess of gunpowder cooking up in here. I got iron and lead smelting in here, except for uh, I don't because I ran out of fuel. I made uh, some more steel... Oh shit, I did it again. I made arrows and not bolts. Oh, oh gee. Gotta frickin' pay attention to that stuff. Alright, um. Where did they go? Did I forget to pull them out here? Oh, I did. <laughs> Crap. Alright, I need. Let's see, 69, so I think we need. Uh, 80. Yeah, 81. It's, a, it's the actual amount there. More arrowheads. Damn it. And let's switch those around. Okay. Anyway, um, I came down here actually to get these. So we can make more repair kits to repair all of our stuff. Got a bunch of more radiators in there too. Okay, so 
let's just go ahead and start repairing things. Well, we have to we have to wait for that to finish. So anything that we have that doesn't need to be repaired and that we're going to sell. I mean, look at all this extra stuff I have just from, you know, wrenching cars and stuff. Um, do I have any mod that I can put on there that I that I want to put on there? I want to I actually want to keep the well, this wouldn't go on there anyways. I kind of want to keep these guys, but if we put them on there just out of curiosity, right now it's worth 545. Oh, I can't put both on. It's 872. Um, do I have a barrel extender on here already? I do. This is the only weapon that it really matters on. So yeah, I think we can afford to part with our barrel extender, but I'm gonna I do want to keep that muzzle brake. Okay, let's grab. I mean, we got a bunch of extra engines we can sell. We got like a full stack of headlights. Let's sell that full stack and look at the, the money we'll get just from that alone. Uh, we even have a full stack of military armor parts and then 30 more to boot. So maybe we'll sell a full stack of those too. Don't necessarily want to sell those off though. Okay, let's load up the bike with what we currently have that does not need to be repaired. Keep those in our own inventory. Okay. Okay. Now, let's go back into here. Oh, we need to get plastic. Grab the plastic. Now, we want a bolt, not arrow. There. Okay. Do we have any waters ready? Yes, we do. Well, that one doesn't. Okay, let's grab a stack of cloth and we will repair the cloth items. Which I guess is just those two things. This is an extra polymer string, which I think, well, here, let's look at something. Let's repair this. So that's worth 712. And then if we put the polymer on that, It brings up to 1140. So yeah, I think we'll we can part with that because we have we have one here. Um, okay, so just I'm looking at like my really high value items at the moment, or well, you know, relatively speaking, I should say. This is our backup light armor helmet, so we don't want to get rid of that. Oh, these don't even go in here. Those go in. Uh, no, not you. Those go in there. We have a backup wrench, and I think out of the three purple wrenches that we have, this is the best one. Yeah. So we're going to keep this as a backup. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll keep that as backup, and then these will uh, repair... And I also have a yellow wrench, too, that we might as well repair, because even that one's going to give us a little bit of money. How much? 264 Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, let's repair the green hunting knives. Oh, and the purple fire axes. I think... I think the purple axe that we currently have is the best one. So that does 106.6 .6 block damage. Yeah. Okay. So we don't want to sell um, this iron fire axe, but we do want to sell this one. Um, do I have a mod for that? Yeah, we could put the digger mod on this fire axe. So right now it's worth 616. It's now worth 1144. Um, 
I'm going to really have to make sure I don't accidentally sell this axe. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Um, let's leave our good axe home. Because I could just see myself spacing off and, and selling, the, selling the damn thing. And that would not be good. Okay, so let's see what else. Uh, we repaired the two knives. I don't have... I don't think you can put this on a knife. I mean, that would not make sense, but let's just see anyway. <laughs> you can. Really? Are you seriously? Okay, 381. That brings that, that up to 709. You know what, though, we actually should do is we should put that on here or here. I think. If we repair this and this, okay. So I I gotta t I gotta get some more stuff out of my inventory. I'm just like getting my I'm confusing myself. So let's get all that crap out of there. This we're gonna fix. Um, that. Yeah, we'll, we'll repair these. We we have the resources. We might as well do it. But I'm not going to put any mods on those, of course. Um. Okay, so I want to compare the knife, the pick, and the axe. What does this have on it? That one's already got one on it. We'll put this away and that because that's ready to go. Okay, what did I just do with... Oh, I put it in there by itself. Okay, so... 616 so these are all the same value so we're definitely not going to put this on the kniffy um because it's we're going to make more money putting it on one of these my guess is it'll be the same regardless of which one we put it on so that brings it up to 1144 1144 yeah so it doesn't matter which one we put on fine okay let's put all of those in there uh that's the axe we are going to sell um, and we'll put that extra wrench in there too. So we have this backup wrench, we have this backup shovel, this backup pick, and that piece of junk axe. So it's just storming out. Um, okay, so let's see. Let's repair you and you and you and we have extra lights for the helmets so right now that's worth 302 it just went up to 529 okay so those are good to go for the military vest um i could put a customized fittings mod on it but i kind of want to hang on to these um Now, I'd rather keep those on there. That's maxed out. Yeah, I, I want to keep these because eventually we'll be able to actually equip them. So I guess that means I don't have anything to put on the military vest. Um, it's worth 545 as it is. Is there a mod that I could make to put it on there? We can make a bandolier for it. And we can make a cooling mesh. An armor mod. How many slots does this have? It's got four slots. Yeah. Um, it, it's going to be really cheap materials to make these, these items. And it's going to really sky, excuse me, skyrocket the value of that. All right, I wasn't paying attention to everything we needed, but I think we're going to need cloth. We're probably going to need duct tape. We're probably going to need glue. Um, probably going to need mechanical parts. Probably going to need leather. Maybe some pipe. Maybe some springs. But we're going to need iron and steel too, of course. 
Okay, so. Oh, and plastic for the pocket mod. I don't have any of that in there, do I? Now what am I missing? Leather. Oh, sewing kits. Yeah, duh. It's reasonable to assume we're going to need sewing kits when we're making clothing mods. Oh, I've got these two. I was kind of hanging on to them for cold and hot weather, respectively. Uh, yeah, let's, whoops, let's hang on to those. Okay, so let's craft one of those, one of those, one of those, and we need oil and another glue for that. Okay. Let's make 10 more glue. Got 150 crossbow bolts. So those will be done in a few minutes. Okay, so while we're waiting on those, um, let's put these two things in there. And then everything else we're just going to have to carry in our own inventory. Wait, we are going to make so much money, you guys. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Absolutely freaking amazing. Um, no, actually here. Maybe Trader Bob will just have a dirt bike already built, and I can't imagine it would cost more than the vanilla motorcycle, which is, what is that, about 20 or 30, 30,000 coin to buy that thing? I don't remember. All right, so right now this is worth 545. Um, it's We've tripled the price on it, and we still need to make... Uh, what, what was the other thing? I was, oh, yeah, the cooling mesh thingy. Uh, we need two oil for that. In fact, I'm going to sell a stack of oil, too. Okay. Oop. So it went from 400 and some odd or 500 and some odd to 18. That's amazing. Okay. Very good. Um, let's put a couple things back here. Those can go back in there. Let's split you up. I'm just going to put the bullets in here for now. Okay, so we still have a few more slots here that we can put a few more things to sell. Um, that's not worth messing with. This this is definitely going to be worth selling. And, <clears throat> I mean, at some point we're probably going to want to do a battery bank, but look at the sell price on these. So I'm going to sell the blue and green batteries. This will need to be repaired. Um... Oh, we can't repair batteries. I think it repairs automatically if you put it in a battery bank, though. Uh, we got a couple of hats here. Uh, this especially will be worth selling, and this one 
probably. We got more, uh, one more extra helmet light. And I still have one on here too, right? Okay. So we'll put the helmet light on here. That's currently worth 712. Now it's worth 1140. Beautiful. Uh, let's get this repaired. Okay, so right now that's worth 545. Um, I've got so many engines. I mean, I even have a couple engines in here. Let's sell two more stacks of those. Um, okay. So that gives me what, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. That would just need to melt down. Maybe we can sell those knives at a different, uh, another point in time. Repair that. Okay. I think we have, I think we have everything we need to go make a crap ton of money. So, let's set out and see. Just double checking stuff here. See what we can what we can do with all this. <clears throat> In fact, if Wrecked has another awesome sauce in his vending machine, I think we should drink this awesome sauce now. Take one of the pies and one of the sugar butts, and sell as much to Wrecked as we can, just so we can clear the inventory out. Then we'll buy another awesome sauce for for the road if we um so yeah I think we're gonna do that he does maybe he always always keeps those in stock I don't know okay here we go take that one of those one of those and we have our cigar already in. Is there something you need? All right, we'll sell as much of the stuff as he'll buy. So right now we're sitting at 15,000 coin and change. Cha-ching! Thanks, buddy. Okay, that's all he wants to buy of what's in our inventory. So, let's grab all of this out of here. And put all of these back in. up my normal stuff there um grab those 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 okay let's go sell this Should have sold the yellow one first, but that's all right. Okay, all right, now that we're done doing business, let's get want out that. Of the store. Okay, so he doesn't want any of the rest of that stuff.
something. Oh, we even got another level out of the deal. Look at that. Okay, look at that. <laughs> We're at 45,000, guys. 45,000 coin and change. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Okay, let's see what he has for sale. Um, do, 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 do. iPod mod schematic would be nice. We don't need an impact. He's got another crucible. But you're, we're fine with one for now. I mean, eventually, it'd be nice to have a couple of those. Uh, we're going to buy the duct tape. Um, and I think... Yep, this is all the stuff we sold him. No refunds. Deal's done. Now okay. beat it, fucker. Let's buy another one of these. So that way, if we find something amazing at one of the other traders, we can take another awesome sauce. Very good. Okay. So yeah, we made, we made out like a bandit, you guys. Look at the look at the bank we have there. That is amazing. Alright, I will meet you guys over at Trader. Bob in the wasteland. <laughs> Zulu Tango Foxtrot just did a, a drop for us. So it's just right. I saw that orange smoke just right over here. Yeah, there it is up there. Um, let's put these on. Farm bundle. Okay, let's open this first. Two forge books, two bow books, two handgun books. And I don't think I'm going to open that right now because it's... Well, actually, we got lots of room. Three seed books. You can now do coffee. Some seeds and three farm plots. Okay. That's not terrible. <laughs> okay. Are you dead? I guess so. Okay, let's um put this stuff in here. And pull all of these out. Go talk to uh to Bob here. Anything you like? He's got a cruiser motorcycle for 27000 but that's not the dirt bike. He's also got a Humvee body. Look how expensive that sucker is. Wow. Got a nice impact driver. He's got a crucible as well. He's got a Kim bench. Got some nice leather leg armor. We might actually end up buying that. Okay. Um. Let's remember that he's got blue leather they leg armor. They you. Because we're wearing. That's our our one piece of cloth that we still have on that I want to get rid of. There's an awesome sauce in here, too. I I want to say, though, that I've checked for them before and they haven't always been in there. Been, haven't always been in there. Burn out of taco, G. So, yeah, we're not going to burn our pumpkin cheesecake or... Uh, wait, where are we going? That stuff for just those blue leather pants. So let's uh, move on to Jen next. 
How did I miss this duffel bag as many times as I've been through here? I don't know. Here's my little shortcut through the desert. Or not the desert, I mean the wasteland. Hi, Jen. Mm-hmm. That's what I think, too. Okay. Uh, let's see what she has. Got a nice steel axe. Green tack rifle. Jen, you got if you find a any extra crappy medicine inventory. There, I'll buy it off you for All right, let's go to Joel. Howdy. Howdy. All right, dude. What do you got? He's got a cigar. Hunter's for a uh, journal volume, whichever. Three. <laughs> Coyotes. Oh, sorry, my brain just decided to take a nap there for a second. Um, nah, I don't think we're going to buy that. Coyotes are not hard to kill, and I think the end loot on, or, or the end bonus on the hunting stuff is not, it's okay, but it's not like we absolutely have to have it kind of thing. <clears throat> buy your duct tape. Got a blue machete. Yep, he isn't. You come back sometime. Jack Diddley Squad either. All right. Well, we have one last chance. With Bob, uh, Bob in the forest. We still need to find a trader Hugh too. He's most likely. Ooh. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. That was awesome. <coughs> um, uh, what I was saying was uh, we still need to find um, Critter, Critter Q. And he'll probably be in woo, the snow. I mean, he could be anywhere, of course, but... Man, this bike does not like to go over those curbs, does it? Okay, Bob, we need the motorcycle parts, dude. Hello, traveler. Okay. Man. Thanks anyway. Okay. You be careful out there. We're going to see if we can make it back to Bob in the Wasteland and buy the uh, the blue leathers and sell the rest of this stuff to him. Because <clears throat> we'll take the uh, we'll take the awesome sauce, the pie, and the whatchamacallit too. Um, I think I can get there in time. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be kind of close, but we should be able to make it. You know what, though? I'm almost out of gas. No, don't go downhill. Um, that could be an issue. I only fill this up to 47%. So, yeah, as I get closer, I'm going to have to stop and, and wrench a couple cars. But um, I think I want to get, like I said, get a little closer to him first before we start doing that.
That's good. Wow. I love the wasteland looting. Okay, we are at Bob's. Um, so I want to switch over a couple of things here. That we need to take back home and fix up, of course. I mean, that's that's such a nice <laughs> a nice item. I'm tempted to actually start using it. I don't know. We'll have to think about it. I just like the knife animation and attack better. Okay. So, here's what, what we're going to do. Wonderful day. We're going to take this. We're going to take this. We're going to take this. I think I actually want to keep the mechanical parts. Okay, so that brings us back up to 48,000. And then we are going to buy... I mean, maybe we should buy this. We can afford it. It's probably going to have more storage, and it's probably going to go faster than the mini bike. It's probably not going to handle the train as well as a dirt bike, but we can still get a dirt bike. I think we're going to do it. There, it's done. Um, and then we wanted to get these blue leathers from him. I think those were like a, almost five thousand. Now they're now they're not. <laughs> okay, so we still have almost thirty thousand coin even after all of that. I'm just looking one last time here. I think I'm gonna buy two more of these while we get the really good discount um just so we can get more waters going for for crafting purposes <coughs> for making glue because glue's been just a pain in the butt <coughs> man we can get a forgetting for 3300 bucks this used to be 40,000 coin in earlier versions of this game we could get another chem bench for 82 but we don't need that stuff right at the moment it's not essential that we get it right at the moment okay much obliged stranger much obliged stranger um let's grab buy another one of these while we get the big discount um okay what time to, oh shit i want to get out of the wasteland before dark i don't think we're gonna be able to get all the way out but we should be real close Alright guys, we did good, man. We did really good. Um, I don't... If I had a little more time, I'd... I'd put the motorcycle down, but... Then I'd have to pull all the shit out of here, put it in there, pick this up. Uh, we just need to get moving here. Um, we'll get to the other side of the wasteland, and then we'll... We'll put the motorcycle down and check it out. So I'm hoping that the cruiser, you know, that's one of the mod motorcycles. I'm hoping that it's at least as fast as the vanilla motorcycle. And even more importantly, that it has comparable um, storage space. All right. Let's check this guy out. I kind of like the green color. Uh, how much storage space is that? Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. So this is... I don't know exactly how much storage space. And it's got lock slots in it, too. Um, the vanilla does, but uh, it's probably at least that much. Okay. Let's pull stuff out of here. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to gas this. Feels like that. Oh man, look at the speed on this. It doesn't have real fast acceleration, but it's got some nice top end speed. It still feels like the tires are, are spinning out on the pavement though. Um, 
How well does it handle? Yeah, it seems to seems to handle pretty good. I wonder how it does on rough terrain. That's something we're gonna have to to check out um, in the daytime. I don't, don't want to be going over super rough terrain at night. But uh, the speed's good. It's definitely faster than the mini bike. It feels like it's about the same speed as the the vanilla bike. Uh, but that extra storage space is just beautiful. What? It's so dark, man. I even got the high beams on. I love it. Oh, except for when they have 12% gas. <laughs> um, yeah, it's too bad. There wasn't some way I could siphon the gas out of a the mini bike, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna have to have a day of nothing but wrenching cars. Like, we'll go buy. I wanna try something here. How does it handle this train right in here? Yeah, it's okay. The dirt bike would just scooch right up this, it wouldn't hardly even bat an eyebrow. So, we still need the dirt bike for traveling across the rough terrain, but. This is still a very, very nice improvement over the mini bike for sure. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, we're going to wrap up this episode here. I need to go this way. It is so dark. I can't believe how dark it is. I can barely see. Um, no, don't crash the bike. See, it's already at 86% durability now. I, I have to say, I, I'm not a fan of the increased damage the vehicles take. I, I, I'm not saying it's unrealistic. It, it, it probably is very realistic, actually, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> anyway... I'm curious to see what this this thing will look like in the sunlight, but it's it's a it's a nice model. I like it. Um, what's it look like without the green on it? Yeah, I I kind of like the green. It looks pretty darn good if you ask me. So we're gonna keep that on there. Oh shit! You scared me, man. Don't be running into my place like that. Oh boy. All right, you guys, this was a good day. This was a very, a very good day. Let's put our new leg armor on. And, um, oh, yeah, put that on. And, yep, the, the leg armor is an improvement. Um, Mobility, noise increase, stamina, not as good, but overall, um, you know, better, better armor, I think. And, you know, I think we read the book where when we're in combat, we're not hindered anyways. So it, it, if you have that, it hardly matters. I mean, it still matters for stamina and stuff like that, but I have to figure out what we're going to do with these farm plots but I'm not plant uh, well I'll plant the corn in it it's corn and potatoes that are the most important veggies and we can make more of those too so I'll have to figure out where I'm going to put those anyway I'm going to let you guys go here thank you very much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did <laughs> and um, in tomorrow's episode we will probably go out and do some more tier 4 questing let's park the mini bike right there Is there any way at all to get the gas out of this? Oh, I don't think so. If we take this out, did some of the gas come with it? I don't think. I don't.
don't think it did. Okay. That's fine. Um, but you know what I actually probably am going to do now that I think about it, though, is... Uh, I might take an in-game day off and just go wrench cars like crazy uh, so we have enough gas to fill this guy up and then and then you don't have have extra but uh we did get an extra point too so far let's go i know i completely screwed up my outro didn't i now the first time won't be the last um we're gonna put this point into grease monkey um for the purpose of getting more vehicle books so that we can get to um to the to gas because uh, so, as soon as we get to the gas then we're golden right so uh we need to get i don't i don't know if we have to get all the way to 20 to do gas but we, we're gonna need eight more magazines to to get there in total so that's where we're at all right guys i think i'm gonna leave now and go to bed see ya bye Thank mm -hmm. you.